The soul, one last thing I want to say about it, is that when you die, some people ask me, where does the soul go? The soul doesn't die. It stays alive. That's the only thing of you that stays alive after death. Your heart dies, your body dies, and your self-consciousness and subconsciousness dies. The soul stays. Where does it go? Many hadiths and many ayat in the Quran tell us. One hadith is in Sahih, uh, in, in An Nasa'i, another one is in Bukhari and Muslim, and also in the Quran. That the soul travels and goes up into the heavens. I'll just say it very summary, in a small summary. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them, return, and if it's a good soul, the angels they say, What a beautiful soul, they call you with the best of your names. And the soul travels in a world that we cannot describe. The closest description I can give you is when you're asleep. When you're asleep and you dream, sometimes the dream is so real. And there are three types of dreams, and one of them is a righteous dream, which is truly your soul living that world. The stronger of an attachment that you have to your soul, and the stronger your soul is of righteousness, the more aware of its righteous dreams it will be. The weaker your connection with your soul and your righteousness and your spirituality, the, the more jumbled up your dreams will be. And they go into the hadith and nafs, what your subconscious and conscious state tells you. Whatever you do in your day, who you talk with, what you do, uh, if you are filled with sins, if your life is just full of useless things, or whether you, uh, whatever you're busy with most of your day is mostly going to be the overwhelming type of dreams that you have. Some people see nothing. And then there's the shaitan dream. The righteous dreams, the closer you are, the more pure you are with your soul, the more righteous you will be aware of them. And this soul goes and sees other souls who have passed away. In the Nasa'i, Rasul said, in, that is reported from him, and then they bring the other souls who have passed away, the souls of people who passed away, of the righteous people. They rush to this new soul when it dies. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the state of those old souls that have died, their bodies have died, the righteous ones, the good ones, they rush to this new soul so excited and happy and rejoicing, like the way you rejoice when you go to meet a family or a person that you love who had gone overseas and come back after a while. And what do you ask the person who's gone overseas? When we go to the airport and we've got one person coming, let's say one person, we fill up the airport as if we own it. <laughs> you see our kids, they've got no leashes, just running around. And they, some of them run into the doors where you're not allowed to with security. Once I saw a kid running, suddenly, beep, beep, beep. It's one of our kids. And as soon as our mum, dad or whoever comes out, MashaAllah, it's like no one else is in the airport. We rush to them and chuck a fiasco. MashaAllah. See how happy you are? Because you love this person. And then you ask them, how was your trip? Tell us about so-and-so. If you've got family overseas, tell us about my friend. Tell us about this. Tell us about that. You want to know information? Well, that was before social media. More, more then. Same with the dead souls. The soul goes to those other souls. And those other souls come and say, tell me about my dad, tell me about my mother, tell me about my brother, my sister, my relative, my cousin, my, if they had a wife, well, tell me about my, my children, who's new, who got married, who's, who, got bird, who, who got born. Why do they ask these things? Because the righteous souls, they are happy where they are and they cannot wait for their families and more people to come and join them in this goodness. They have hope. And, they, and then when they're asking and say, when they're asking all this question, this new soul is a little bit jet lagged. It's, it's this kind of thing. And a person says, da'uhu, da'uhu. Give him some space or her some space. Innahu ja'a man dunya. He or she has just come out of the, listen to how he describes it, subhanAllah. He or she has just come out of the claustrophobia of that world. Claustrophobia. The righteous souls call this world claustrophobia. So brothers and sisters, what happiness are you looking for here? In this materialistic world, they're just a vehicle. It's just temporary happiness. Happiness doesn't last. Sadness doesn't last. The true happiness is in here. When you are connected with your soul and into the hereafter. Nothing makes you afraid. Nothing can stop you, inshallah. Nothing can make you sad. You feel it, but it won't stop you, inshallah. So, brothers and sisters, this is part of what the soul happens to it. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. When we die, our soul leaves us and goes to heavens according to the consensus of the scholars 
and when the good souls reach the heavens, the angels welcome them because they have done good things in this dunya. They have pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the angels, they become happy upon seeing the good souls. My beloved brothers and sisters, once you leave this dunya, nothing goes with you anymore. Your children, your wives, your wealth, everything becomes inheritance. Sometimes even your children, they fight for your inheritance. They might not talk to each other because of the wealth and inheritance that you left behind. Only three things goes with the person after he dies. The sadaqah jariya he has done. And if he leaves waladun salihun, like pious, righteous children who prays for him and who does good deeds for him. And the knowledge that you left behind. These three things will benefit you in the hereafter. Like you have built a masjid, you have built a water well, you have built something beneficial for the people, then these good things will send rewards for you even after you die. Other than that, all of your fame, social media followers and all friends, whatever it is in this dunya, nothing will go with you. So, turn closer towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You never know when you'll have to leave this dunya. Malakul maut will not give you a second to request to stay longer in this world. No, you cannot. When it's time, you have to leave this dunya. So live in such a way that your soul is welcomed by the angels. Pray your five daily salah. That is the first question that will be asked on the day of judgment. When your salah are well taken care of, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be taking care of you. Then recite the Quran. Be nice, be gentle, be kind to others, be just. Live a good life in this dunya. Live a righteous life in this dunya. Live a righteous life in this dunya. And you'll see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your soul happy once it leaves the dunya. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description.